Well, a town in Iowa is calling one man a true American hero. Hundreds of thousands of dollars of his own money is helping rebuild Parkersburg after an EF5 tornado hit that town early this summer. FEMA and other disaster officials said it would take years to get things back to normal. But as ABC 6 News reporter Jackie Orozco explains, the help of this one man and his team made Parkersburg a living community once again. It wasn't too long ago when a tornado hit the town of Parkersburg and left piles and piles of debris. A lot of people lost their homes, some even their lives. And when things were looking grim, Ted Agolia, founder of the first response team of America, came unannounced to help the people of Parkersburg. We had lots of uh, equipment on the ground, skid loaders, backhoes, excavators, but nothing with the ability to pull a piece of paper out of the debris pile without ripping that piece of paper. And that's what Ted's you know, equipment did at City Hall. It recovered vital records that will never be replaced. Brick by brick, the community of Parkersburg is not only rebuilding their school, but rebuilding their spirits. One of our, our goals was always that we were simply helping heroes be heroes by providing them with the equipment and technology that they need for their community. The debris here was picked up in four to six weeks, all of it. And Tad started that process by loading uh, full-size county dump trucks, you know, one per minute, one per two minutes. Nobody else had the ability to do that. And just this week, the walls of the new high school are up. Dozens of people are living in their new homes now, and City Hall is being rebuilt. That alone showed everybody in Parkersburg that, you know, there is a light at the end of the tunnel. And, uh, and Tad showed us that that could be done. Luring says after everything that was lost, there are still plenty of things to be thankful for. In Parkersburg, Jack Yorosko, ABC 6 News. In the past 18 months, the first response team has responded to 20 disasters across the country. Three of them have been in Iowa. And now Tad and his team are being honored as one of CNN's top 10 hero nominees.